Hi, I'm Dr. John LaPook. Welcome to CBSDoc.com. Transgender issues have been in the news recently with the announcement that Cher's daughter, Chaz, is transitioning from female to male. So what exactly does transitioning mean? It's the period during which somebody starts to live as their new gender. It can include changing a name or legal documents, taking hormones, and getting surgery. In the segment that follows, an expert on the subject, Dr. Ward Carpenter of the Callan Lord Community Health Center in New York City, explains what the surgery and hormones can entail. A warning, this is a graphic description, and we include it not to shock, but to educate. Hopefully, better education will lead to less misunderstanding and fear of the unknown. For a male uh, to become a female genitally, um, what, we, what the surgeons do is um, they actually use the penis um, to create a vagina. It's called a penile inversion, so they take the, the skin that's there um, and remove the, the internal workings of it, invert it so that you then have a, ca a cavity for the vagina. Mm -hmm. um, they then use the scrotal skin as, um, as labia to create a, a female-looking labia. Um, and then the final step, which to my understanding of it is that it's the, the most difficult part, is to reroute the urinary um, outflow through the vagina as opposed to where it was coming out of the end of the penis. And how about sexual function and orgasm? So uh, something they've been doing much better with in, in recent years is to maintain, they uh, you can use the tip of the penis, which has a, the majority of the uh, nerve endings, as a clitoris, mm -hmm. as a clitoris to, um, to maintain sexual pleasure and function. Um, it certainly is not completely normal since there's a lot of surgery to go on, but it definitely, it, it, people do have good uh, outcomes. What about hormones and other medications that a man would have to take who is becoming a woman? We use something that is able to block testosterone levels. It's actually a routine uh, and a high blood pressure medicine. Called? Uh, called spironolactone. Okay, aldactone. Aldactone, exactly. And one uh, of the side effects of that is to cause breast growth. Is breast health. growth, exactly. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is it completely blocks the production and the activation of the testosterone levels in the body, which um, then allows the inner um, estrogen levels that we all have, men and women, to start to act and create breast tissue. We then augment that, though, with um, estrogen to create the breasts um, and, the, and the widening of the hips and the softening of the skin and every other change that and we're then, looking for. And then medically, how do they have to be followed? I mean, what do you have to look out for in terms of side effects and problems? So um, just like with women on hormone replacement, there's risks of blood clots, there's risks of cardiovascular disease, so we're very careful with that. There's risks of affecting the liver, um, something specific about the aldactone is, um, can affect the kidneys and really create some very dangerous high uh, potassium levels. Um, so we're very careful about monitoring that as well. Right now we recommend that after 10 years on the hormones um, that would people really start to do uh, mammography screening because there is an increased risk of breast cancer with anyone on estrogen. Um, but some people recommend doing it much sooner than that, immediately. Some people say, you're never going to need that, and, and so we've tried to find a, a happy medium there. Now let's do the other way around, as in the case of Chaz Bono. She is becoming a he. What's that process like? So, um, medically speaking, which is what we do here, that is uh, only one medicine, and that's testosterone, the male hormone, um, which we use at a level that is able to not only block the internal estrogen levels, but also to bring out the, the male um, characteristics of deepening of the voice and uh, facial hair growth and uh, widening of the muscles. Um, surgically, much more difficult procedure. The, the technology to help um, women transition to, to male um, is far behind, I would say. It's very difficult to create a surgical penis. Um, especially one that is functional in a sexual way. We can certainly maintain some, um, some sensation, but the function is not something that we have the technology to do. Is, is it actually being done at all? It is. Um, there's some different people using uh, pieces of the forearm muscle um, to create a penis. There are people um, who do something uh, where they just enlarge the clitoris. They can uh, do some ligament snipping and it allows for um, 
a little bit of an enlargement and, and more function. Um, but it's not a true erection in that blood is coming in. Well, blood does function because the, 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 way, or, the, or the clitoris is able to have, it has erectile tissue. Right. So it does, um, we do have some function in that way. And, and depending on the person, larger or smaller, um, and you might have uh, be able to have penetrative sex. But it's not the true erectile function right. that you would normally have. Right. Whether it's men transitioning to women or women transitioning to men, um, there's, not one, there's not one final course. There's people who choose to do just hormones. There's people who choose to do just surgery, both of them, some of the surgeries, not all the surgeries. Some women choose to have breast implants. Um, some men choose to have mastectomies and, and remove their breast, and some don't. How do these people feel? A, a woman who becomes a man or a man who becomes a woman, what, how, how do they feel afterwards? I mean, what, in your experience? Um, almost always people feel, I would say, relaxed. They feel finally that they're wearing the right skin. They feel peaceful. They feel... Uh, people who've had, I've seen many people have struggled with depression and suicidal thoughts, suicidal attempts even, um, who get on this, finally have to stop fighting that internal fight and really become different people.